Hello everybody, my name is Eric, and today we're going to be taking a look at something I was alerted to by email. Now this is a clone, a potentially a malicious clone, of a popular RuneScape client. If you've ever played RuneScape, you've probably heard of RuneLite. So you might assume that RuneLite Pro is either a better version or maybe a paid version, or it's something great. Unfortunately, that's not true. RuneLite Pro, as far as I can tell, is not a real program. Uh, it's a scam. Now, what's interesting is if we Google this and do a bit of reconnaissance, people actually seem to be getting promoted for this in-game, which is really weird. So it's not just a typical ad or YouTube scam. People are playing RuneScape. Sometimes, like, this guy was in a Discord, uh, and... I don't know if this is the one, but there was one where he was in a Discord, and they told him about RuneLite Pro, and it uh, stole people's accounts. So let's take a look. So the obvious red flag for a lot of malware is it'll pretend to have versions for other operating systems, but it usually won't. The Mac version actually just goes to a 404. Uh, but the Windows version does exist. Uh, we can also see that despite saying that it's open source, there is no open source. And none of the pages on here work. This is also, I don't know how significant this is, but I have seen this Lightspeed web server on a lot of sketchy things, but maybe it's got legitimate uses. And then we go to a GitHub that also doesn't exist. Uh, the tags don't exist. That's not a great sign. There's also supposedly a Discord that doesn't exist. A Patreon, which does exist, but not really. It's not supporting anyone. And this is a pretty simple website. We've also got... Plugins that are supposedly included. Now, these plugins, I think, actually exist, but I don't think they're included with this uh, compilation. So let's take a look at what we've got here. Now, this is an EXE wrapper for... We have a Java runtime. I have Java on this VM, but okay, let's take a deeper look. And of course, because this is ultimately just a Java wrapper, uh, we can get into this pretty easily. Waiting for Detector Easy to extract that, we can also take a look at the Java to EXE wrapper and see if there's anything that shouldn't be there hidden in there. And the reason that it doesn't work here is because we haven't set the Java home variable, uh, which comes with Oracle Java, because of course I'm using OpenJRE, but I can fix that. But first of all, let's extract this out using the die extractor. We can load that into the Java decompiler. Now, JDGUI is not the best uh, Java decompiler, but it will work perfectly fine for all purposes because this is not a recent Java program, so it will in fact decompile perfectly fine. Now, this is what we want, the Java file. Now, this all looks normal enough. Now, we've got like main, download, link. These all look to be real links. We've got a certificate for it, and we've got the logo. Now, hold on a second. What is this? I have, a, I have a bit of a feeling that something called slash Roblox is probably not legit. Eep. Let's see what else is hosted on this uh, repository. Uh, this was... Okay, I don't like... Okay. So what they've done is they've taken an open source project. I mean, we could definitely check the... Uh, source code, and it seems like it actually rotates the name uh, in this slash Roblox, and that is where, so they've inserted this little uh, malicious thing here. Now let's simply upload the pro version. This is an interesting scam. I I'm just confused because people are saying that this is getting spread like via communities, so these guys are actually like playing, it just seems like such a sophisticated scam. Now, ultimately, the EXE so far isn't getting a ton of detections. Let's just see, is it actually similar? Uh, no, it's different, but it isn't hugely different. Um, we can see. We'll throw that one into die as well, just to see if there's anything clearly different about it. But at this point, I would say I'm pretty confident whatever's going on here isn't legit, but they sure put a lot of effort into hiding it. And this one does contain another gel file, so we can export that as well. There are also some other files here as well. An example 5-4 gel, a revision.txt, the updater, this doc, which I don't quite know what that would be for, denied, and possibly 
CJ, we've also got Ethan Vaughn. What? Oh, I, I hit a rate limit. Oh. I think I have VPN. I've been seeing people online complaining about this as some sort of anti scraping thing. Like, I'm not scraping anything. Let's see about this jaw file as well. 13 kilobytes. Well, that's going to be something different. So let's just take a, a little look at what's going on. Hmm. I don't like any of this. Client hijacked. External plugins. Side loaded plugins. Let's just download this as a zip so that we don't get rate limited. And let's see what else this Reblex API has uploaded. Let's also just look at the real rune light. Just to see if any of this might just be normal but confusing. So there is an injector. Let's just see if we can download a real version of rune light. This is the real version. Uh, and let's just get the gel file so that we have a, a comparable thing so we can see any obvious uh, differences. Okay, so the real one seems to be quite a bit smaller. Back to launcher.class. And there's nothing in here about downloading some weird stuff. And we've also got we've got the example 5.4 gel as well. We can now that we've got the whole repository downloaded, we can take a look at all of these. And this one's a much bigger file. And okay, yeah, there's really not a lot more that I have to say about this. Uh, we have keylogger.class packets. That's probably interaction API. I think this is to steal your I'm kinda like I'm almost impressed about how much effort was put into what appears to be a RuneScape scam. I know this stuff does have real money value, but still, this is sophisticated and it's been flying under the radar. And here we go. So, uh, and the reason why I noticed this while going through their old stuff is they were previously, they were hard coding the webhook into uh, the software, but at some point, like on the latest version, uh, we can go to this Java VM plugin file that I stupidly overlooked, and we can see, oh, okay, so it's here. So we'll go, and then we run check, check ip.amazon.aws.com. Uh, let's actually try that one out. Here it steals your credentials, and then it posts it to runelight.php, and it also keylogs. Now, I'm assuming bank pin, because I actually haven't played this game that much, is, let's just, okay, so that is just pulling uh, my IP address. Uh, you, you can uh, check that IP address. That is a NordVPN IP address. Have fun with that. Uh, so, that is interesting. And then we've got a special user agent gate. So, it's exactly as described. I'm kind of, like, I don't want to say I'm in awe of this, but I'm kind of impressed, if I'm being honest. This is like a sophisticated custom malware for the purpose of stealing RuneScape items. It's actually quite something. So that's going to be all for me for now. Do not use this. Uh, do not run Rune Light Pro. It's not a real thing. It's a scam. Uh, it seems like the main way it's spreading is people in game who are actually like one of the Reddit posts I read. Someone like built a whole friendship. They would go raiding together, and then he say, "Yeah, but it's difficult because you don't have this plugin." I'm honestly impressed at the level of ingenuity here. So that's all for me for now. Bye.